When you create a new Vault entry, you'll name the entry, then add a username, password, and a URL. That's pretty much the minimum you'll include because that's all you'll need to create a valid, functioning Vault item. But what if the site in question uses either HTTPS or HTTP? Of course, you'll want to use HTTPS because it's more secure. Or, even more important, what if the Vault item is for both a website and a web app? Ah, there's the rub. You see, websites and web apps do not share the same address. In fact, that's one of the reasons why you see URI listed in Vault items instead of URL. URI stands for Universal Resource Identifier and can be used for both website addresses and web app addresses. However, that's where the similarities end. Where a website address might be http colon slash slash www.example.com, a web app on the Android device might be android app colon slash slash com.example.com. The reason for this is one will open a web browser and the other will open an app. So instead of having an entry for both, why not just add both URIs into the same vault item? That way, your vault doesn't get cluttered with nearly duplicate entries. To add a new URI to a currently existing vault entry, you simply open that entry for editing, tap or click New URI, and add the second URI to the entry. Also, on the mobile app, if you manually select to autofill an app that Bitwarden doesn't have a mobile URI for, it'll ask you if you want to use it and add the new URI to the entry. Now, when you open an entry, you can tap the button to launch either the website or the app automatically. That's handy, and it's built right into Bitwarden.